Today we're going to go over auditing business objects activities. We will simply copy this view uh, found on uh, Bob Forum and uh, we will paste it on our uh, SQL Server 2005 query analyzer. Uh, as you can see, I already created two views. So I'll simply paste it and rename it to view number three. And as you can see, uh, the code starts with create view. And you can go through the details later. I'll validate it, I'll execute it. Ex as soon as I execute, it says uh, it's completed, it's successful. And if I refresh it, if I refresh the database, I'll see the third view. If I go on to edit it, um, initially it was create view, it will be changed to alter uh, view because it's already a view you can't really have a create command on top of it uh, view to edit it it's just uh, it's to update anything you'll have to use um, alter view command well that's another topic we'll just go ahead and select uh, top 10 from here and as you can see um, all these um, fields are available event type ID event ID application type server type um, start timestamp it basically uh, logging all sorts of activities um, by time timestamp and the detailed text will have all sorts of activities like uh, refresh update modification changes scheduling uh, and it will of course change based on the type ID we're gonna dig a little bit deeper into our um, view that we just created and as you can see the views uh, the view has uh, application type id application type description detail id detail text and so on these names uh, correspond to the tables that are already uh, in the cms database uh, as you can see here so we'll just uh, select few of them and then uh, query and see what they are uh, what kind of data they have and it looks like it's the type of uh, application will just uh, get the entire table and as you can see you have CMS report job server RAS and you know the rest of the servers we'll do the same thing with audit detail um, event actually we'll, yeah audit detail and this has just uh, uh, way too much information and just say I mean we're not gonna need that at this time same thing with audit event it just records every single event and it's got uh, server CUID and uh, object CUID uh, but we won't uh, need this table at this time we'll then go to detail type uh, table and which has user group user ID um, event ID and stuff like that we'll then go to um, event type table this is a um, very important table it has all the uh, different types of event like list of values, red, doc red documents, scheduling stuff, password changes. We'll uh, take the ID for schedule uh, failed to find out <clears throat> the um, 10 of our last uh, failed reports. Uh, so in the query above we'll just put where event type ID equals you know this ID over here. And because the uh, fields from the view match with the uh, fields from the actual table you could just uh, it's, it's very easy to query we'll just order by uh, I think it's called start timestamp we'll just query it and then yes it's start timestamp uh, descending order and uh, let's pick 10 and here it is see the application type description it tells you what kind of application it was used detail text has the uh, actual folder pad I believe and then you have uh, the description schedule field there's your timestamp there's the user the exact server so if you have multiple servers you, you could pinpoint it to them and uh, this is really interesting um, it, uh, it's like directly it's, you're having direct access to the CMS activity audit activity 
we're now gonna pick a different event type uh, let's say if you wanna find out who are the people that changed their password in the last month you can use the um, password change um, event type to uh, find out and it's handled by CMS server and um, these are these are the users um, on the right side under the username you can see uh, that attempted or that changed their password and you have the start timestamp and they'll tell you exactly what time or day it was next we'll just take a um, quick look at extract path table and as, as its name suggests it's got the username and the location and uh, I guess it'll have uh, more than just username the location of all uh, folders and files and uh, reports um, we'll skip these um, table and then go on to the table the most important table um, in the CMS database the info objects table um, even if you're not uh, an expert in audit I'm sure you've come across or heard about the CMS info objects this table um, has a lot of um, detailed information about the activities in the universe it's got four different types of CUIDs and I don't know exactly um, their usage at this time but the very most important column is this column objects name this column has a list of all um, objects and business objects uh, and they are encrypted so the information is useless to us but I found some uh, uh, websites online that have the decoding um, replace SQL script um, and I will go over